Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a little bit of a different video. So, recently the Razer Tefather and the other V3 series of mice came out and I noticed something very wrong with them. So instead I bought the Razer Tefather V2 Pro and I'm going to explain to you why. So the Defather V2 Pro should be like, what, 3 years old already? It should definitely be worse than the V3, right? Huh, let's make a quick comparison here. Let's actually start with the De uh, Defather V3. What does it have more than the V2? Higher acceleration, alright. Higher IPS, maximum speed, okay. 10,000 uh, DPI more at 30,000. Not that anyone would use more than 2, 3,000, but yeah, whatever. And uh, it's 25 grams lighter. Okay, okay, fine. I mean, that's that that's a good thing, you know. That's a good thing. But then we go to the Razer Defather V2 Pro, and boy oh boy, 30 hours longer battery life. And that's like, I mean, this mouse even has an RGB, okay? And the Defather V3 Pro doesn't doesn't have anything. It has only a small light on the top of the mouse that I guess blinks in, in green, according to the battery or so. But more, more than that, the Defather V2 Pro actually also has two more buttons, which makes it automatically better for any MMO game or any other type of game that uh, you would want to program some buttons, you would uh, want to create macros and stuff like that. It has more onboard pro memory profiles also. And overall, if you look now at the price, $45 for the Defather V2 Pro compared to $150. That's what? Three times more? Three times more money. But hey, <laughs> I guess you're gonna get a USB C with that, right? Yeah. At least that. But hey, maybe the maybe the site is just biased, you know? Maybe maybe the site is just bad. Let's check this site. It's another site. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit different here. Okay, it's a more or less the same uh, kind of comparison, both sides here. So, again, video games for MMO. This mouse is better for FPS, of course it's not. It's not better because, yeah, more acceleration, more DPI, whatever. The reason is that this mouse is not as good as the V3 for FPS. But the raw performance is actually better than the V3 Pro. How is that possible? I believe that uh, at its current price, the Defather V2 Pro is the better choice overall. And I've been super happy with it ever since I got it. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Maybe you can prove me wrong. Anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you like it. Uh, of course, like or dislike the video, depending on how you feel about it. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.